Oh yes, it's another IBM ThinkPad. You just can't get enough of these. This little beauty is an IBM ThinkPad 760XD and it was released in April of 1997. And uh, well, these are a little bit special and I'm really, really pleased to get all of this one. It's, it's in pretty good nick. I mean, the lid's a little bit scratched up and that, um, but you know, it's not bad. One of the nice features of the uh, 760 was this uh, fact that the keyboard can be raised up at, at the back, which is uh, quite unusual. It comes with a uh, uh, CD-ROM drive here, but that could also be, you could also fit a floppy drive in there. Um, it's quite unusual um, in the fact that, let's uh, tweak that down a little bit so you can see, it has a, um, a video. Uh, in and out, uh, which is unusual. There's, they didn't normally have that. It's got a microphone and headphone jack there, and under there, there, there is a modem port. And then around the back, we've got power jack and uh, serial parallel VGA docking port and uh, external floppy connector. I think we've got infrared. I think there is an infrared port on here as well somewhere. Um, PS2, uh, dual PCM CIA slots. Um, so it's 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 uh, and and it's pretty well specified. Um, it was. Uh, it had Pentium MMX. Uh, 166 meg CPU, 32 meg of RAM, and a 12.1 inch TFT, and a 3 gig hard drive. Uh, this one uh, appears to have a 4 gig hard drive, which is split into 2 gig partitions. Um, and when I first powered it up, it only reported 8 megs of RAM. Um, but I had a look, and there was some very odd uh, memory modules in the slot, so I took those out, and it should have 16 megs on board as standard. Um, and sure enough, as soon as I took the memory modules out, um, it jumped to 16 megs. Um, right, let's get it powered up. So, what is it that makes the uh, 760 XD rather special in terms of ThinkPads? Well, we'll see if uh, you can get a few hints once it powers up. Well, hopefully the wallpaper might give you some indication as to why the 760XD is so special. It was one of the few laptops certified to fly on the Space Shuttle. Uh, in 1998, there were several 760XDs on board Discovery when John Glenn, who was then a senator, returned to space. <clears throat> At one point, Discovery carried 21 IBM ThinkPads, mainly 755Cs, which were the earlier 486 versions, uh, but there were several 760XDs. Also, the only laptops certified for long-term flight on the International Space Station were the 760XD, which is this, and the 755C. Towards the end of the 1990s, there were 12 ThinkPad 760XDs on the International Space Station. Well, I've actually managed to find a picture of um, astronaut Susan Helms on the International Space Station. I think this is about 2001 with no less than three IBM ThinkPad 760XDs uh, on show. I don't know whether you can, I don't know well this will come out on the uh, camera, but uh, there you go. So there they are on the International Space Station. Fantastic stuff.
So yeah, it's uh, it's got a pretty um, pretty important uh, place in the in the laptop history for for uh, and and in ThinkPad history too. Um, the ones on the shuttle and the uh, space station were of course modified to work on DC 28 volts, so you couldn't plug a normal power supply into them. Um, but other than that, I think they were pretty much standard. Um, and um, oh yeah. Uh, they were also on the Mir, the Russian Mir, a space station, um, and um, so yeah, pretty uh, pretty uh, impressive heritage. But anyway, this one, as you can see, is working. No problem with that at all. Um, yeah, I'm very pleased to have this. It's a, it's a um, it's a nice little addition to the. Uh, to my ThinkPad collection, shall we say? Um, and I just wanted to uh, uh, showcase this. And um, oh, another interesting feature of these. I'll just close the keyboard. Is if you reverse the latches on the front, you can lift the keyboard up and gain access to everything inside. And it's all modular; it all pulls out. So it's it's pretty impressive. Um, superb design again, typical IBM. But uh, yeah, it's a nice bit of kit. So, anyway, there you go IBM ThinkPad 760 XD.